Uh, I'm here at the puzzle. I'm Nettie. I'm not Jeff, as you might have noticed. Um, we thought we'd switch up by having some ladies here tonight. Um, so I'm joined by Jenny Bromley and Alice Jones, who are finding this hilarious, apparently. I was going to say, where did you find the ladies from? <laughs> Sorry, told us yeah, to I'm ready. not getting into that whole gender argument. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, basically we're going to talk tonight about what the puzzle means to us, about um, having performed here. Um, me, very, very rarely, these two quite frequently, so much better than me. Um, and really just kind of about what inspires them musically and why the puzzle means a lot to them. So I think we'll start with Jenny. Um, tell me a little bit about the fact that you come from. Why like Alice, the folk dynasty that uh, hails from the Cold Valley. Well, um, my dad's a folk singer and has been since he was about 16, something like that. Um, so it was kind of a bit inescapable that I was going to end up doing that. It's just sung these songs to me all my life and my brother and he's ended up getting involved as well. Um, and we've just ended up making this little family group. Um, called the Bromleys, which is really original. <laughs> and because the folk scene's fairly close knit, I think it works quite well to, you know, to not expand the gene pool too far and just keep it within the family. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I reckon Alex will have a, a, a sort of bit to add on that coming from Rippenden. Yeah, well, I'm not actually related to the folk dynasty that I am uh, sort of pigeonholed with. <laughs> They're sort of my like adopted folk parents, Pico and Suko, and they run um, a, a group called Ribbon Three Step that I kind of got brought up in. But a lot, of, some of my first gigs were in here with um, a band sort of playing, playing up there, and um, so I, I kind of feel like I don't have a right to my folk dynasty really, I'm not actually related to them. But it's set me up right nice because they are professional folk singers and like you say, I sort of didn't have any choice other than to kind of learn the songs and to like get in with it. And so yeah, I've, I've had a good, good folky start. Uh, and I think that folk music is kind of like, a bit like the puzzle down here, that sort of like family feeling that you get, like I know, I have loads of friends that I've made down here and made actually at the open mics generally which Jenny and I came down together when we were 18 which was about five years ago um, and yes. um, we've been playing the same song ever since haven't we um, at every open mic we can go to we've not actually kind of diverged onto anything else yet because it means so much to us and that's the, the song that we launched our careers with that's called tradition it's just and like folk traditions errors. Exactly. Yeah. Living tradition. Exactly. Yeah. But I think in the form of a whole song. <laughs> yeah. Not involving, but not, still not a folk song. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think you know the puzzle unplugged is obviously a new incarnation of um, sort of the open mic nights. But like I think for all of us, those nights are really important. I don't know kind of open mic nights for you. What do they mean? Kind of what's the What's the sort of feeling behind them for you guys? They're a really, really good way of testing out your material yeah, <laughs> for a gig. Definitely. So you can kind of like test out on your audience and stuff. And if they all leave the room because they didn't pay to be here and they don't have to stay, and you're like, well, I won't do that at a gig. So I quite like that. But then also, it's um, especially when you're in a place like this when you kind of know everybody, um, it is like having a little family party in it and having a little like sing song and stuff. So I love a, I love a um, an open mic night because it reminds me of um, folk clubs and I've been brought up with folk clubs and it's it's a more inclusive kind of environment probably really than a folk club is because uh, you can just get up and do whatever you like Careful. can't you and it's Careful. Yeah. sorry <laughs> yeah no, don't just do whatever you like <laughs> well no just don't just the folk community <laughs> sorry oh now I'm gonna get cancelled <laughs> <laughs> sorry they won't watch this <laughs> the, the other interesting thing so about the the unplugged night that's going to be happening here so traditionally open mics you've got a microphone guitars plugged in so it's going to be amplified if you've just been practicing a couple of songs on your own in your bedroom the fact that you're going to come and perform in front of an audience at all is scary enough or daunting enough if then somebody's going to amplify you <laughs> and every little thing that might not be quite as perfect as you want it to be <laughs> is going to be highlighted it might be a bit off-putting mm -hmm. so if you come down to the puzzle the unplugged night you can be more in a comfy environment like you're familiar with being at home, mm -hmm. but you've just got some friendly faces that can listen to you and give some feedback afterwards. Absolutely. So it's a bit more, it's like a step before an open mic. Yeah, to sort of like, like, as I was saying, in terms of like testing your songs out also in terms of whether you actually like singing to an audience. Yeah, that's true, absolutely. Testing whether you can sort of like hack the kind of 
the pressure of it, really. The pressure of a, a microphone puts an mic. extra pressure. Yes. Non open mic, yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, absolutely. And I think the thing here is, like you were saying, the puzzle audience is usually very, very well versed in music, mm -hmm. like very knowledgeable, but actually also really, really nice, welcoming. Like, there's no pressure. I've been to open night, night nights where there is, and you feel the pressure in there, and I've never felt that yeah. as yeah. open mic or a session or anything. So. Yeah, sometimes I'd say that's almost the worst thing when you turn up and you see all these people that you know are musicians, you know that you've been to their gigs and you think they're amazing, they're all sat there in front of you. Sometimes that can be awful, but actually I think in this setting it's really quite comforting. So, because I did that gig out, out in the, um, outside area just recently and I think I knew everybody by name <laughs> and it was just so nice because it was, it was just like sitting in the living room having a chat with people and then but every now and then I had to sing a song you know and yeah. it, it's that that does take the pressure off because suddenly you you're performing but you don't realize you're performing so I, I think that's going to be the nice thing about these these evenings yeah I think absolutely so yeah um, I'm just gonna probably have to edit this bit out Jeff because I can't remember but when are they are they every Thursday Okay, well, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the Unplugged Night's going to be every Thursday moving forward, which I think is really cool because Thursday night's a bit of a night where there's not much going on in Solby Bridge. Uh, will you ladies be coming down? Not every Thursday. I don't want you to sort of sign your attendance in blood right now. Why not? Well, I'm committing to. I'm good and not that far away. I am planning to come down. Yeah, I'm going to try out some new material on people. Please do still call people. Like, yeah. <laughs> You walk after what Alice said about trial of the material at open mic nights. Some good. of it is good. Well, to be fair, during lockdown, all, all I've done is sit, like, try and learn new songs and stuff. So they, they're quite well practiced. It has been good for that. It's not been good for much. No, but, but it has been one... good for giving you a bit of creative space to mm. kind of get some new songs together and mm. practice ad infinitum, locked in your own bedroom forever. <laughs> um, so, here's to the puzzle and plug night, ladies. Cheers, ladies. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm.